In this tutorial, we will show how to simulate a bifacial system in PVSYST. We will go through the result and the loss diagram. Now that the bifacial system parameters have been correctly set up, it is time to run the simulation. Click on Simulation and wait for the simulation to finish. After having run the simulation, one way to quickly check the result is by inspecting the loss diagram. You observe that the loss diagram is slightly modified compared to non-bifacial projects. First, a new gain comes from the ground reflection on front side. This represents a contribution from the irradiance reflected by the ground between rows and reaching the front side of the collectors. This contribution is technically present in any PV system, bifacial or not. However, in PVCs it is neglected for monofacial systems. Indeed, this contribution is very small for typical shed and tracker systems and becomes crucial only in vertical east-west bifacial systems. Then we can see the main irradiance input contribution for the backside, called global incident on ground. This is the total irradiance reaching the ground area below the PV tables. Next, we have the ground reflection loss. This is the relative loss for irradiance due to ground absorption. It is basically 1 minus the albedo value. After that, you can see the loss named view factor for rear side. Each point of the ground receives an amount of irradiance depending on its position relative to the PV tables above it, the sun's position and the weather. Then, this point will reflect part of this irradiance isotropically in all directions according to the albedo factor. Finally, a part of this irradiance will be intercepted by the rear side of the collectors. The rest is lost, except a very small amount that may reach the front side of the modules. The view factor is the fraction of this interception for each given point. Then, there is a gain named Sky Diffuse on the rear side. This is the contribution of the diffuse irradiance reaching directly the rear side without reflection on the ground. Another gain is the beam effective on the rear side. This is a small contribution from the beam irradiance reaching directly the rear side without reflection on the ground. And the last irradiance loss is named shading loss on rear side. This shading may be due to mechanical structures holding the modules, or some other obstacle for the light. This factor is one of the parameters that can be modified in the bifacial model, and it is used directly as a loss of irradiance. Global irradiance on the rear side is the result of all these contributions. The percentage mentioned on the label is comparison with the front side value, effective irradiation on collectors. The reference energy of the array is defined as the sum of effective irradiance on collectors value multiplied by the PV modules area and the STC efficiency and global irradiance on the rear side value multiplied by the PV modules area and the STC efficiency of the bifaciality factor. In the electrical part of the loss diagram, there is another contribution linked to the bifacial model. This loss is the mismatch for back irradiance. This is the result of the mismatch parameter specified by the user in the general simulation parameter tab in the bifacial system definition window. This is a small contribution because it's applied only to the electrical power that can be attributed to the rear side irradiance. The losses we have not discussed here are the same as those found in any standard simulation.